I just, I guess, just the the feeling after not getting past that team again and the way that it went down. What do you guys feel in that locker room right now? Um, I mean, it really doesn't matter the team at this point. You know, just losing it doesn't matter if it could be all the, any other team out there. Um, you know, losing in the playoffs always tough, no matter who it is. And um, been in this league a long time, so you realize. You realize how how hard it is to make it back here. You know what we, we had to win, what seven straight, six straight, whatever the hell it was, to get to, back to this point. <sighs> Not to mention the roster changes every season, so um, it's always tough. Now is it heartbreak? Is it kind of some combination of all of them? Uh, everything, everything. Obviously, I'm I'm extremely proud of the guys in the locker room. You know this. Uh, be at six and six and and fight our way back is is incredible and I mean it's obviously isn't our goal to to lose in the second round but extremely proud of the guys and same thing uh, you know sad sad you know felt like it was once again this this team team 2023 was going to get it done and came up a little short. Jordan, when you forced that fumble at the goal line or just in front of the goal line, is that when you kind of thought the tides turned and maybe the game flipped? I mean, uh, obviously it was kind of it was what they called a four-point swing. Uh, anytime you get a takeaway in the in the red zone, um, it kept them from going up, I believe, ten points. Uh, I wouldn't want to say it's a swing or offense. I mean, it was it was just a, a good play in the game. Um, you know, whether you want to say it's a swing or not, that game was just going back and forth, uh, really all day. Um, you know, ultimately, they they made one more play than us. Like uh, Jordan, I, I, you know, this thing's minutes old, and it's it's tough to answer this question. But but to get over the hump against this team, all these games, Jordan, like you just said, are back and forth. It's you know down. What what in your with your experience and everything else, do you think it takes for this team to, to kind of get over the top in the postseason against Kansas City? Play better. <laughs> Make more, make more plays. Um, I mean, these type of games, really, that's what it comes down to. Is uh, you know, they always come down to who's going to make the make or not make the last play of the game. Um, I didn't watch the game earlier today, but I'm assuming it came down to to the to the wire. Whoever's making the last plays of the game usually ends up winning. Um, and we just, you know, defensively, we didn't make enough plays uh, to help our offense and put them in in good field position to to help them out. You guys were able to, you know, get some stops going there in that second half. What adjustments did you guys make in that second half to get those necessary stops to get the offense back to ball? I mean, just going out there basically saying, like, you know, they were they were driving at will on us. Our offense was driving at will on them. We sh we had we had to find a way to get a, get a couple stops in the second half. Obviously, Jay Poe's huge play um, in the road zone, taking off points, and then uh, three and out. Um, after we thought we had a three and out, another another three and out. Um, so you know, we just we just had to say enough is enough, and, and and had to get it done. How tough is it for you two guys? You've been here for seven years, probably. I would say the base, the best safety tandem that I've ever seen here. Uh, Thirty years covering the Bills. How tough is it right now? I mean, <laughs> just lost in the playoffs to a team that. You know, that's kicked us out. I think this is the third time they've got us out of the playoffs. Um, I mean, it's tough. We work so hard throughout the season um, to fight and claw back. You know, our back's against the wall. Everybody doubting us midway through the season, and, and we get to, we get here, and, I mean, just that close. Um, you know, it is tough. Um, you know, it's uh, something, to, something to, to learn from for sure, and, uh, you know, it's, it's tough. What do you have to say about playing alongside 23 there for the past seven years? How much time do we got? Um, I mean, just my brother, man, my teammate, man, my just my right hand man, dude. I just learned so much football from from him and coming in here in 2017. You know, I just remember him being in Green Bay and he wearing him wearing 33 and I wore 33 in Cleveland and. Uh, our, our special teams coach used to always say that I played like Micah High, and so like, I'd always watch him playing. Every time Green Blaze playing, I'm like, 
33 and then I, we met met the year before we came out here and it was just kind of it's surreal that we're seven years later you know even be considered the top safety duo in your 30 years of covering I mean that's just it's, it's super dope we uh we had a plan when we came in here that we really wanted to change this culture and change this this organization into a winning program um and you could argue to say that we have I mean we've gone to the playoffs the last six out of seven years out here that's um I mean, that's an accomplishment in itself. Obviously, you want to win the Super Bowl, but, you know, prior to being us being here, I mean, a lot of guys being here, this, and Buffalo hadn't gone to the playoffs in 17 years. And, uh, I mean, we're right there. You know, the, the fans could feel it. Um, the team could feel it. I mean, we went to that game and felt like we were loose. Uh, obviously, it's a great football team, but uh just came up a little short. So, but this is it's my guy right here. We're going to be tied in for life. Um, and uh, I can't say enough good things about him. And, uh, about him and his family. Question for both of you: Have you thought about what the future might hold for, for either of you? No. Obviously, it's right after the game. You know, we don't really know. Um, you know, like I said before, rosters change each and every year. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's part of the business. It's part of the business. Um, each and every year, after you after you lose, after you win, and um, you know, it's it's tough to even take my head there because it's uh. Then comes the the frustration as far as not being able to get it done with this group of guys that we've been here, you know, with Jay Poa, myself, Tre Davis, D Dog, Reed, and Milano. I think are the original 2017 guys, and um, sprinkle in Josh in 18, and and Taryn in 18, and you just have that nucleus of guys that have been here for so long, and we're able to change the culture. And um, yeah, obviously we're not going to get into detail about changing the culture right now because we just lost. Um, but like Jay Poa said. Being 17 years without playoffs and going six to seven, um, we're you know forever in, in, embedded to each other and, and we're brothers on and off the field.